design. Um, this is the new 4.0 tall sock, and this is the current version. Just to give you a quick reminder on the updates, we are going to be adding this lighter weight mesh backing on the back of the sock. Um, it's, you guys remember, this is our ultralight tall sock. It's basically like we're taking the 3.0 and combining it with the ultralight to give you kind of a good mix of, of the two on the update. Um, you also get a new updated design. We still have the, the markings on the front and on the back so you can make sure your customer knows how to line it up correctly on their foot. Um, with the tall lock, that's usually not an issue, but calf sleeves, we've seen people wearing them backward every once in a while. Um, so that's just there just to make sure you have it on correctly. Hopefully with the mesh back, it makes it a little bit easier as well. Um, the other major update on the sock is going to be in the footbed. Um, it has a new toe seam, which you guys can pass that around. That's giving me a little less uh, noticeable than in the 3.0. And then on the bottom of the sock, oops, turned it inside out. We added some channels in the bottom to just help move moisture through the sock a little bit more and it actually gives a little bit of a cooling sensation underneath the foot since there's it'll create some little air pockets between the foot and the sock other than that that's pretty much it on the 4.0 uh, the big color story that we'll have for spring is camo cloud which this is the pink version you remember she brought these in? Mm -hmm. Okay, I thought so. <laughs> I think Jamie was excited about it, and okay. Alicia said it was hideous. I'm a big fan. <laughs> the, pink, the pink has been very popular. I ah. think the pink's pretty cool. Uh, the men's version is just like a black, white, and gray, uh, which is all right. Um, we'll do that. This camo cloud. We'll do it in a tall sock, and then in the short sock as well. Cool. Which on our short socks, you're going to notice them now being a little taller than they used to be. It's going to be more of a true crew cut now instead of just like a short sock. Yeah, a short sock. <laughs> will that add a little bit more compression then? Through, it a will, bit just because it will come up a little bit higher. But I know the the first versions of that were kind of low. It's almost like a tall quarter. Where yeah. It's going to be more of a true mid cut now. And do you um, know the timeline still on? still on time yeah close okay. yeah yeah i think we had them for two one um like the black and white i think are actually in stock we're just waiting on some packaging okay um it's gonna be probably mid-february okay ish okay <laughs> um it's gonna be kind of on a count to count basis but um, based on what colors you buy and stuff like that but I, definitely by like march 1st you'll have them all in okay. stock um and then whenever you guys get those in we're also going to be taking back all your uh, 3.0 socks that way you guys don't have to worry about closeouts and, and stuff like that on those. Cool. Can I see the bottom of the 3.0 sock? Yes. So the vents on the four are just more? Like, or, cause there's a, like less on this one. Basically. Yeah, I think it's just a little bit more enhanced. Uh, oh yeah, you can see there. I, before the 4.0, like whenever I put them on, I never even noticed it on the 3.0. Where in the 4.0, I can actually tell a little bit of a difference. Yeah. That's probably because they told us that. So, um, another new sock you guys are going to have coming is going to be the all day compression sock. And this is basically just kind of a. Um, but like a downtake of the, the run sock. So it's gonna have a little bit less compression. It's gonna be a little bit more geared towards just like everyday wear, recovery, uh, traveling, stuff like that. Um, it's, it, since it has a little bit less compression, it should be a little bit easier to get on. Um, but the really good thing about this is it's gonna come in at $39. Um, it should be pretty nice and i know a lot of times uh especially like high school kids a lot of times they have to have like an all black sock or something where, you know it's not that you can't run in this it's just not quite as technical as the, the run the run sock but maybe for if somebody is running but they tend to have issues because those are too tight throughout the course of a marathon that would be a good this option. could be a good option as well just <laughs> notice that there's it's gonna be a lot less padding in the forefoot. Okay. i mean it's just a normal sock it's pretty thin 
Um, it, it's really just kind of a down take of this song. That's a good way to think of it. So, um, we'll also be doing, and again, I can't remember if you guys did the crew version of this. I'm guessing you didn't. But, um, just know that we do have that out there as well. But yeah, we're really just kind of going after that person that just needs compression that it maybe isn't the runner that you know is going to spend sixty dollars on a pair of compression socks. Um, so that is pretty much it for new 4.0. Uh, that's me coming out early this spring. Um, Curex is kind of the same story that we've had. Um, Curex had an unbelievable year this year. Um, in Fleet Feats alone, we were up 55% for the year. Um, and in Run Specialty, the, the Run Pro is actually the number one uh, selling insole ski in the industry, which is pretty cool. Um, do you guys have any questions on Curex? Anything that's came up lately or other than me shipping in the wrong stuff? <laughs> I don't think so. Okay. Um, could you just with just touch base on the basics just before the video? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's cool. Um, so with Curex, um, the, the thing that sets us apart a little bit from the rest of the insoles in the industry is Curex is a little bit more of an adaptable insole. Um, so it has a decoupled heel, so it just allows a little bit more movement. Um, it's really kind of made for actually running and not necessarily just stabilizing the foot. Um, whenever you put a Curex into a shoe, it's all about enhancing the fit of the shoe and not necessarily, you know, uh, curing plantar fasciitis or anything like that. Although we do give you a little bit of uh, extra support inside the shoe. Um, our Run Pro, Pro insole has three different profiles. We have a profile for a low arch, a medium arch, and a high arch. And all three have different levels of support. So in the high arch, it's gonna have the most flexible support piece. And then the low arch is gonna be the firmest uh, thickest support piece. Um, in the low arch, it's also going to be pushed back uh, towards the back of the arch a little bit more, where in the high arch, it's going to be moved forward a little bit. Um, other than that, that's pretty much it. Uh, they, they also have just um, some different cushioning systems built into it, um, kind of in your high wear areas that will help the insole last a little bit longer. What's the typical life of a Curex? Um, we typically tell you that you can get about two pairs of shoes out of them. Um, it, again, it just depends on how hard you are on them. Um, the support piece will never really wear out. Um, it's going to be the forefoot and just the, the materials of the insole itself that will wear out um, before the support. Do you have, back to CEP, do you have any like suggestions on like helping people like put on the sock like do you have like any tips or tricks um the, on? yeah especially on the tall socks the easiest way to try to help people get them on is to get your foot into the into the sock part first and then pulling it up from the bottom um it, if you can get the foot kind of situated inside the footbed um it allows it to get on a little bit easier uh whenever you try to put the sock all of it on at once um, especially if you're not careful, you can actually rip the sock pretty easily. So get your foot situated in the footbed first. Cool. Any other questions? With the 4.0, is the sleeve any different from the uh, it's just uh, just the mesh backing is what will be the only difference in that one. Yeah, the yarn that we use is going to be exactly the same. And is that increasing price or that's the same? It's the same. Okay. Uh, the tall sock will be 60 and the sleeves will be 40 still. Cool. Sweet. Cool.